wants us to drive somewhere. I don't really want to drive anywhere. I'm going to drive. Ready, bud? Here we go. Mum's driving. Here we go. Here we go. Mum is driving to the licensing centre to <laughs> get her learners. Where are we going? Hey, darling. Can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey, darling. We could get out of town See the beautiful world around Wanna see it now Pack our bags and get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Let's get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the open air yeah, the countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair We can look back someday Baby, don't you understand That we only get one life I wanna make it count, honey Come on now and take my hand Hey, darling I love it when it's me and you on the road with a couple of tunes in a car for two Hey darling You know we're gonna have a really good time Driving in the middle of the night when the stars are bright Pack our bags and get in that car Real far. Let's get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair We can look back someday Baby, don't you understand That we only get one life, I wanna make it count Honey, come on now and take my hand So pretty with the wind blowing in your hair. We can look back someday, baby. Don't you understand that we only get one life? I wanna make it count, honey. Come on now and take my hand. Yeah, we only get one life. I wanna make it count, honey. Come on now and take my hand. We have to show you this beautiful thing that Teller was just learnt. These are like his first words. What's that way? Yeah. I can't see. And what is it? Yeah. A duck. What's that? <coughs> A turtle. A turtle. <coughs> yeah. Turtle. Mm. <coughs> That's right. Turtle. <coughs> Something else that we should touch on. We've got a little surprise for you. Close your eyes. There is hopefully Get only one rest. baby in there. I'm by your side. Lay your head on my chest. I know you've had. Me, you would be on the side of the road with your thumb out, pregnant, with a baby in the sling, rolling your little suitcase, not knowing where you're going. Oh my god, you're so 
Yeah, this, that's gonna be like the beginning of this video and everyone's gonna think you're so full of it. Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, for those of you who are new around here, my name is Natalie and me and my family make videos on bus life, conscious parenting, um, healthy lifestyle, healthy living, healthy recipes, healthy food. Um, yeah, and just like life on the road really has been our main focus with a toddler, with a, with a baby um, for the past year. And as you can see, this video is based upon um, just like 2019 and what a year that was and what is to now come, I suppose. So I had this idea to, um, yeah, do like a 2019 recap um, and editing this video and going through all our old videos from 2019 uh, really made me see how far um, we've come, how much we've done, um, what we've manifested, the hardship that we had to deal with in 2019, just all of it. Like a few weeks ago before I had the idea to do this video, when I was thinking of 2019 and what that was like I was thinking you know w words that I would have used to describe 2019 would have been you know like magical and exciting adventurous um yeah like out of our comfort zones all these all these types of wonderful things um and it truly was an incredible year for us for us as a family um and also individually, there was so much self-development, so much self-growth. But I didn't think about, back then, a few weeks ago, actually all the really hard times that we had as well. Because there was definitely some hard times in 2019 for us. And just reflecting on that and seeing how certain events made the rest of our year pan out when those events occurred, really just made me be like... Like, wow, life is just incredible. It's such a journey. And um, yeah, just to think about, again, like how far we've truly come in one year, in 12 months, um, it just, 
making this video has really made me reflect on that. I'm super happy to be talking to you guys about a, a little bit of a recap of 2019 and what we hope to achieve in 2020. For those of you who don't know, on the 17th of January in 2019, we set off in our bus full time um, for full time travel around Australia or not around Australia, but up and down the coastline of Australia. We had lived in the bus for a few months before that and had done, um, you know, like a month long trip and a few little trips, but our bus hadn't been um, as self-contained as we wanted. It had it, we still had stuff to work on. And so when it got to January, we were like, okay, the bus is basically done. Um, let's go. And we had this vision that we would travel and we would start making, you know, an incredible um, income through YouTube and uh, like pretty soon and that uh, we would just have this abundant lifestyle. We'd spend every day together and just like return to simplicity, be with each other, explore um, and just grow. And we really did all those things. The only thing that um, didn't occur the way that we had actually thought that it might was the fact that um, our YouTube channel didn't start making, like we didn't start earning a sustainable amount through YouTube um, that is only starting to happen now so that's like basically a year later when we set off in the bus um, we really had no plans we just we we headed south from where we are so we're in like South Queensland and right now and this is where we left from and so yeah we we just drove and we met some incredible people on the way we had such an amazing time then we started going through some hardship um so many of you if you've been following our channel for a while you would probably know that um i miscarried what would have been our second baby in i don't even it must have been april so we consciously decided to bring uh another child into being and the month that we did that we conceived um six weeks after we conceived i had known for three weeks that i was pregnant and that baby decided that it wasn't time to be on this earth so we then went through a miscarriage in the bus away from our family and friends and friends like literally hours and hours and hours away we were all the way down the south coast we didn't know anyone in that area the south coast of new south wales we really had to literally just sit with it i was there's no toilet in the bus so i was running to toilets like public toilets to disperse get clean all that kind of stuff when i was having the miscarriage and honestly it was just a really raw way i mean when you have a miscarriage any way that it happens is a really raw way but even more so it just made us really we have we had we had nowhere to go we had our tiny home and that was it and so it really um it was it was pretty full on um as well as having a how old was Tello at the time like one and a half year old um who doesn't understand what's really going on with his mum and I was still breastfeeding and and so I feel like now when I look back on it after that miscarriage I feel like that really um paved the way for the next kind of six months of the year or the rest of the year when I think back to it like I wouldn't change anything because it was obviously just our journey but it definitely affected a lot of areas in our lives as you can imagine um and me just like sitting with that grief for a really long time two months later I, so I had one period and then two months later we fell pregnant again and um then I had to deal with morning sickness and I also had to deal with uh the fear that this baby also might not make it and being okay with that and really sitting with that and so that was also a long process to get past the kind of three to four month um area within pregnancy and yeah it just I feel like those events really set the tone or the the kind of mood for the rest of the year and again I wouldn't change anything it was obviously just our journey it was how it's meant to be but it's just um 
it had never occurred to me that maybe that had affected certain parts of our life at the time as we were going through it. <laughs> Another hardship that we had um, during 2019 was when our bus broke down and we realized that we needed a new engine 7,000 Australian dollars later as well for um, us, you know, we were already living on a budget, we had minimal money um, saved for the rest of the year and yeah, that was a big, a big uh, thing that we had to work through for three months basically um, because like this is our home and we we just had to stop everything like our plans completely changed um and it was kind of a blessing in disguise because i was yeah in my early pregnancy and really not able to um be present with tallow or zach and yeah just really needed to be horizontal for a very good amount of time i must have been like 14 weeks pregnant when we decided to go on another three month journey in the bus and that was truly an incredible time like i have the most magical memories of that uh trip and um i just feel like enjoying pregnancy um, and enjoying time with your other child or children when you are pregnant um, being able to be really present and just there all the time is such a gift and it's something that i do not take for granted and it's something I'm so grateful for and yeah we just had so much fun um, it was also just like being in the bus again after three months of what we had gone through going up north was just such a magical time for us coming into 2020 I feel like January has already been such a magical month um, Zach has finished work he stopped working yesterday was his last shift and we made the conscious decision that we were going to dive in even deeper into our own like online businesses our own career paths um, because we don't want to work for other people anymore like this is it this is what we want to do we want to do YouTube we have a few other projects coming up that we really want to work for us and we just like we got to this point even when Zach was working only for two months where we were like this isn't aligning with us it's clearly not working like we need to change something up we've saved up the money that we wanted to save up for the next few months um like let's stop working like let's get you back home and let's really 100 percent dive into what we can see for 2020 and and make it happen um and just trust and believe because that is what our intuition what our gut is telling us let's figure this out let's let's do the things that we want to do and that we want to bring into motion um, and when I finally voiced that to Zach weeks later, he was like, I feel exactly the same. Like, of course I feel the same. We made the decision that he would finish work and, um, yeah, we'd dive in, we'd be fearless and we'd figure it out. If something wasn't to work out the way that we had planned, one of us just goes back to work. I'm assuming Zach because I'm about to have a baby. <laughs> Um, but yeah, for 2020, we just really envision so much abun abundance coming into our lives, but coming into everyone's life. Um, I feel like even the numbers to 2020, like there's something in the air, there's change obviously occurring. 2020 is, is the year where a lot of things are going to be changing. A lot of people are going to be, um, going to continue to wake up and be like, I want to do things my way, not the way that society says or whatever it is and um we're really feeling that we're feeling so abundant and like i said the month of january it's not even halfway through jan um and i feel like the some magical things have already happened um we're going to be giving birth to our baby um in the end of, at the end of february or maybe the beginning of march and then beyond that we're going to be a family of four and we're going to be adjust adjusting to that and beyond that we're going to be jumping into these new business ventures and hopefully um bringing in more abundant and more abundant income and um you know we have overseas travel plans in the works for this year and um new projects and yeah i feel like we're really just like coming into ourselves even more um and we have been at the end to the end like from the end of 2019 to, and now the beginning of this year and I'm really really excited to see that unfold and unravel and see what it means for us so yeah we've got some 
things going on, all exciting things, all wonderful things, and I really just wanted to also take the time to, um, I feel like I'm going to cry. <laughs> Just like again watching over those videos and um, seeing how much tallow has grown Seeing how much we've all grown seeing our tiny home on wheels and the adventures that we've been on in the past year You know, it's our one-year anniversary in the in the bus um, on the 17th of January of traveling full-time and um, I feel like a lot of that couldn't have happened without making these videos and having that drive to um, share our lifestyle with you guys and also just like watching our channel grow over the past year and finding um, the connections that I found through social media as well as um, just like weekly comments from subscribers from you guys um, who have been following our journey and always let me know what you think about videos or just sending us love and prayer and thought and uh, it's truly like humbling to experience that and to think about that and again to think about how small our channel was a year ago and how much we've grown in the past year um i'm like getting really emotional and i've been crying at like everything because i'm like 35 weeks pregnant so <laughs> um but yeah i just really 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 wanted to say from the bottom of my heart and zach's heart and talo's heart Thank you guys so much, like, I don't really know what else to say, but thank you. Thank you for being present with us. Thank you for following our journey. Thank you for believing in us, trusting in us, um, and just allowing us to share our lives with you. It's truly a blessing to be here. And um, yeah, I just wish you all the most incredible year. Okay guys. That's kind of it for this video. Um, next week, we're going to be doing a morning routine, a bus life morning routine video. So stay tuned for that. If you haven't already subscribed, then make sure you do that. And it always means a lot when you, when you give our videos a big thumbs up because obviously it helps on our channel. Um, yeah, again, thank you, thank you, thank you. We love you all so much. And we'll see you in the next video. We could get out of town. See the beautiful world around, wanna see it now Pack our bags and get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Let's get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is so pretty